In the exciting world of the NFL, all eyes are on the players to see who will come out on top. The Arizona Cardinals seem to be facing some problems as their star wide receiver faces suspension, but they were prepared for it already. Want to know more about DeAndre Hopkins' suspension? Well, keep watching for all the details. Let's begin. Star wide receiver given six game suspension. In what came as a crushing shock to Arizona Cardinals supporters, the star wide receiver of the team was just handed a six game suspension, something expected to severely affect the team's statistics for the season. Back in the 2020 season, the team that first drafted Hopkins into the NFL, the Houston Texans, traded him off and the Cardinals were congratulated for the steal. It was obvious why, as during the season, Hopkins became the youngest player to reach 700 catches, beating his teammate Larry Fitzgerald's previous record. In the 2021 season, the player ended up having to miss a few games due to a hamstring injury, but he has enjoyed a very good career so far, so the news of his suspension came as a shock to fans. According to the announced news, the Cardinals' star receiver was suspended due to breaking the NFL's policy on the use of performance-enhancing drugs. While he initially filed an appeal, he ended up withdrawing it, meaning that the Arizona Cardinals will be starting their first six games without him, something expected to be a major loss for them. It has been proven during previous games that the Cardinals need DeAndre Hopkins if they want to manage a winning game. As during the NFC wildcard round, the team won only three out of eight games, including a 34-11 loss to the reigning champions, Los Angeles Rams. Their quarterback, Kyler Murray, struggled during the plays. Arizona Cardinals in a bind as star of the team suspended. In news that probably made Cardinals fans around the world a bit dizzy on their feet, the team's star wide receiver was just suspended for a total of six games for violating the NFL's policy against performance-enhancing drugs. His PED suspension means that the Cardinals might be off to a rocky start this season, though they seem to be making moves to cover their weak areas. His team seemed to be convinced that there had been a mistake, with the brand manager, Doug Sanders, insisting that he was shocked and that Hopkins had not knowingly taken any any illegal drugs as he had tested negative during his October and December tests. They are now investigating how the November test came out differently. Sanders insisted that Hopkins and his team were committed to showing that he did not consciously take a forbidden substance and that he hadn't once tested positive for such a substance throughout his decade-long career. This news comes after a series of problems for Hopkins, as the player was also forced to miss three weeks of games during the last season due to a hamstring injury. The missed games resulted in a career-low record for him with 42 receptions, 572 receiving yards, and 8 touchdowns after 10 games played. Before that, he had only missed 2 games in his entire career. How the Arizona Cardinals expected the suspension and prepared for it Dondre Hopkins' team and brand manager, Doug Sanders, might have insisted that the star wide receiver would never knowingly consume a substance banned by the NFL, but they still ended up retracting the appeal. This means that his 6-game suspension is still in place, although it seems that the Arizona Cardinals might have expected this problem if their choices during the 2022 NFL Draft are anything to go by. In what came as a surprise for fans, Marquis Brown of the Baltimore Ravens was traded for number 23, a first-round pick. With the Cardinals sending 23, the Ravens sent over Brown and a third-round pick, number 100, in exchange. This was a decision many did not understand at the time, as a receiver was not what the Cardinals urgently needed. But it seems that the team was already aware of the upcoming situation, and knowing that they would be unable to appeal Hopkins' suspension, brought in Brown for assistance. The Cardinals prove that they knew all along about DeAndre Hopkins' potential suspension. In what came as an unclear decision earlier, the Cardinals had traded for the Baltimore Ravens receiver despite having star receiver DeAndre Hopkins. Now it's clear that this was in preparation to minimize the damage incurred by Hopkins having to sit out six games. It might be a good move, as without Hopkins to back up quarterback Kyle Murray, the team struggled during the NFC wildcard round. Brown also played college football with Murray at Oklahoma University, and the former teammates are looking forward to playing together. In total, Hopkins will be missing the games against Kansas City, Las Vegas, reigning champions Los Angeles Rams, Carolina, Philadelphia, and Seattle. With a previous loss during the wild card round against the Rams, the team probably wants to prove that they can win, though without Hopkins, it won't be easy. Nevertheless, the team has prepared all they can to face the first six games without the star of their team, and it remains to be seen how they will do. With extremely strong opponents, especially during the first three games, they will have a hard time catching their breaths. Other news! New pick Daniel Falele is a officially a Baltimore Raven. With the 2022 NFL drafts well underway, there seems to be shocking news coming in left and right. From trade-offs to new picks being drafted across several rounds, everyone's in a flurry to bring fresh or elite talent to their roster and wash their hands off of those they no longer need. This is the cutthroat world of the NFL, where even head coaches are fired after as little as two years. Of course, there are several players from every nationality, and Australia officially as a new NFL player from their side, the giant Daniel Falele. The new star 
Neymar is expected to be a top talent, and his most notable feature right now is his large build. Falele weighs 174 kilograms and, at 203 centimeters tall, stands around 6 foot 8 inches. This build is what sets him apart most right now. He is the heaviest player in the NFL currently and the fifth heaviest in its history. The Baltimore Ravens picked him through the fourth round draft as the 110th pick, and their decision did not lie solely in his height. Falele is a pretty good combination of power, size, and pure athleticism, and is expected to have prospects like no other. He'll be competing for starting right tackle within the Ravens side. Baker Mayfield drama continues as trade-off fails. Baker Mayfield got off to a really good start. Playing college football for Oklahoma University, he was picked first overall in the NFL 2018 drafts by the Cleveland Browns with a $32.68 million salary, where he has been ever since. But team changes are common within the NFL, and the Browns have wanted to trade him. Unfortunately, the talks for his trade are not going too well. The Browns were deep in talks with the Carolina Panthers for a deal as early as day two of the 2022 NFL Draft, but negotiations suddenly fell through. According to Yahoo Sports' Charles Robinson, the main reason for the deal being off was the Panthers' unwillingness to pay the $26 million still left on Mayfield's contract. During his appearance on radio station 92.3, The Fan, the Browns' general manager simply said that it was a fluid circumstance. He added that it would be dealt with and that they were happy with the players that they had added. The Browns traded in quarterback Deshaun Watson during the offseason, guaranteeing him a $326 million contract. This was despite the several sexual assault allegations mounted against him, proving that there isn't much regard for personality in the NFL. NFL Draft 2022's first round features shocking twists and unexpected trade-offs. The NFL has already announced its 2022 schedule, with the first game being on Thursday, September 8th, between Buffalo Bills and defending champions Los Angeles Rams. Every team is busy preparing for the season as the first draft rounds finish off, ending up with some unexpected developments. For one, Marquis Hollywood Brown just joined the Arizona Cardinals. To the pleasant surprise of his longtime friend and former Oklahoma teammate, Cardinal quarterback Kyler Murray. But this news came as a bit of disappointment to the Baltimore Raven quarterback, Lamar Jackson, who insisted that Brown not be traded off the team. On the other hand, the Philadelphia Eagles had a big win, obvious from quarterback Jalen Hurts' happiness as they managed to snag A.J. Brown from the Tennessee Titans in a $100 million deal with $57 million guaranteed to make sure he got his money's worth. In return, the Titans acquired Traylon Burks, someone often compared to Brown. Wide receiver Christian Kirk also signed a four-year $72 million deal with the Jackson Jaguars. Even the New York Jets, Detroit Lions, and New York Giants finally saw a good day as they managed to take in some good picks from the draft. And that's a wrap for this video. Will you be tuning in to watch the Arizona Cardinals play in the NFL? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.